All right. Uh, the next question uh, is this question. Let's just move a little bit like this. A question 4.2. Uh, we're going to do uh, the uh, y-intercept and uh, the the, the x-intercept. All right. So 4.2, we are asked to calculate the, the y-int and um, the x-int. Now, what is the y-intercept? That's this is what I do. I write y int. We make x is equal to zero. Okay, so uh, this will be um, um, so. We're gonna say uh, six over uh, x plus two minus one. Okay, and then we sub in the value of x by zero, to zero over here. Now this will be equal to. Uh, so it's, it's y equal to, so that makes y equal to uh, six over two minus one, and that makes y equal to uh, six minus, two. six over two is three, three minus one is, um, is two. So this is the y intercept. Now for the x intercept, similar way, we going to, I just wanna break, Somewhere over here. X int means what? X int means we make y equal to zero. So um, in this equation, it might be like uh, six over x uh, plus two minus one. We make y equal to zero. Y was there zero. Now, uh, if you move the negative one over this other side of the equal sign. This will be a positive one equal to six over x plus two. Then uh, the, the, the one is like one over one. And then uh, we can solve this by uh, cross multiplications, like meaning we do uh, one times x plus two, and we can also do uh, the one times six there. You know, one times x plus two makes, um, x plus two equal to six. And then we can continue with, uh, solving this. Um, this makes, if you move uh, the, the, the positive two over, that makes negative two, and then x is equal to four. So the x intercept is equal to four. Thank you. Move here. 